Finally, all new at 11. Imagine seeing this over the skies of Atlanta. Don't worry, folks. This was back in 2019. Don't worry. This was in Finland, actually. So uh, these are the northern lights, better known as the Aurora Borealis in our part of the world. Simply put, this is what we see when we see the atoms energize and they collide with the atmosphere and they are affected by lines of magnetic force. Science. Now, this is mostly seen in places like Scandinavia, Canada, and northern United States. But back in, the late, back in late April, the skies over North America really lit up to the point that the northern lights were seen as far away as south as uh, Arizona. Well, tonight we spoke with a professor, Erin Bonning, the director of Emory Planetarium, and she says that the chances of seeing them here in this parts of North Georgia are very, very slim, but not impossible. I have a colleague who told me uh, once he was observing with his telescope up in the mountains of North Georgia, and he thought he saw like some lights from a town kind of behind the horizon. And then he realized that there actually was no town in that particular direction. And he was seeing very, very faint aurora. Okay, so Professor Bonning says that the northern lights are tied to what's called the solar cycle, an 11-year period where the sun's stormy behavior goes up and down. And right now, we're on the upswing of the solar activity, which will peak in the summer of 2025. I got to say, I love that her Zoom background was the lights. Yeah, and, and uh, that was pretty cool. And it's also important to know, like, if we're going to see it, it's going to be on the horizon. It won't be overhead, and as beautiful as that is, if, if we ever do get lucky enough. Good night, everybody. <laughs>